What's going on guys, it's Tony Sauce here and in today's video, we're gonna be predicting the X Factor cards for NHL 25. So last year they made it so that only one player from every NHL team got one of these X Factor cards, the ones that are like upgradable throughout the whole year. They start off with a gold X Factor, even at like a very low overall. Very cool cards. The art is always nasty. It has like this electricity shit right here. So we're gonna be predicting the X Factor cards for NHL 25. We're just gonna go in order. So we're gonna start off with the Anaheim Ducks. We're gonna take a look at the roster and then I'm gonna make my prediction based on how well the players played last year. So for the Anaheim Ducks last year, it was Trevor Zegras. Now everyone knows Zegras had a pretty bad season. Um, I don't even know where this Mofk is. Where's the fucking roster? All right, here we go. Where is this dude? Like 14. He only had 15 points last season, bro. I mean, he only played 31 games. I guess that's actually not that bad. You know, a point every other game. But still, dude, take a look at this roster. Like, it's obviously not going to be Zegras next year. Frank Vetrano cooked. 60 points, 37 goals, 23 assists. I already, like, think it's going to be Frank Vetrano. Um, Mason McTavish kind of popped a little bit last year as well, but yeah, out of all of these, I'm going to have to go with Frank Vetrano, X-Factor card. Next, we have the Arizona Coyotes, or I should say the Utah Hockey Club, because they just fucking changed over to the Utah Hockey Club. Did they already update it in the thing? Yeah, they did. Wow. Um, they don't even have stats for it, so let's take a look at the, uh, and they don't even have the Arizona Coyotes. Where the fuck is it, bro? Okay, so last year, the X Factor card was Clayton Keller. Now, Clayton Keller is clearly like the best player on the team, I think. Let's see who else they got here. Nick Schmaltz, Matthias Maselli, Logan Cooley. Now, I would not be surprised if Logan Cooley gets an X Factor card next year just because he's, you know, that hot rookie. He had a pretty... He had a few really nice highlight goals, so I would not be surprised if Cooley got one. Mateus Maselli, honestly, is not a bad pick either. You know, I, I'm just not going to go with the player. Like, I have, a, I assume that they're not going to make it the same player as last year. So I'd probably go with Maselli. Let's take a look at his cards, yo, that he got last year. Wow, he his highest card last year was an 84 overall. What did he have? No X factors, yeah. Yikes. All right. Um, not a bad season though. 17 goals, 40 assists. Like, come on. So yeah, I think it's going to be Maselli. Logan Cooley had 20 goals though. Honestly, I'm going to guess Logan Cooley. I'm locking in my guess, Logan Cooley. He's a rookie, hyped up rookie, had a few highlight goals. Yeah, we're going to go with him. Next, we have the Boston Bruins, my favorite team. Last year, it was Charlie McAvoy. Very cool pick, honestly. Um, you know, out of the Bruins, you got guys like the top three would be like Pasta, obviously, Marchand, and, uh, you know, probably McAvoy. But I'm going to have to lock in my guess with Pasta. It's the obvious choice. He didn't get the X Factor card last year. Um, he, I'm pretty sure he got one the year before, but you know, because he didn't get it last year, I'm locking in my guess. It's going to be David Pasternak. Buffalo Sabers. Now this is an interesting one. We have Rasmus Dahlin from last year. Now if we pull up the stats, Alex Tuck cooked. Tage Thompson cooked. Um, you know, Dahlin with 20 goals and 39 assists as a defenseman. That's actually unreal. Uh, Casey Biddlestad got traded. Owen Power would not be a bad pick, a little sneaky defenseman pick, but they had a defenseman last year. You know, I want to say Tage Thompson, but my heart is leaning towards Alex Tuck. Like, I feel like Tage Thompson is the more obvious pick, but Alex Tuck had a great year with 59 points, 22 goals, 37 assists. It would be like kind of like a funky pick. You know, it wouldn't be that obvious choice with Tage Thompson. I'm going to I'm gonna go with Alex Tuck over Tage Thompson for the X-Factor card next year. Next, we got the Calgary Flames. Now we have Rasmus Anderson, another defenseman over here, okay? Let's take a look at the stats. I'm not too familiar with their roster. Oh, Kadri cooked. Sharon Govich, dude? Hmm. 
Huberto, he kind of started to heat up towards the end of the year. Only 12 Genos. Um, you know, Huberto, I would say, if this was like a couple years ago, I would say it's the obvious choice. Nazem Kadri, I almost want to go with uh, Sharon Govich just because he had like a very good year. 31 uh, goals, 28 assists, and it's not like the obvious choice. You know what I mean? Like I feel like Kadri is more of the obvious obvious choice. Uh, yeah, Kadri had like 16 more points than everyone else on the roster, honestly. I'm going to lock in my guess with Nazem Kadri. Next, we have the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, we had Sebastian Ajo last year. They have a very good roster. They have a lot of sneaky good players. Uh, let's take a look at the points. Ajo with 89 points, man. Next, we have Seth Jarvis. That would not be a bad pick. Uh, Tivu Teravainen. Uh, where is this? We have Svechnikov down here in Nietzsche. They have a pretty stacked roster, dude. Um... Seth Jarvis, great year from him. Yeah, oh, who's their defenseman? Um, Brent Burns, honestly, dude. We could go with the first defenseman pick here. A little reckless. How old is he? He's getting old, but he's still a plus 19 on the year. 10 goals, 33 assists. Uh, what's his plus minus? Oh, 19, I already said that. Um... Yeah, I mean, I I'm either going to say Seth Jarvis or Brent Burns, but if I'm locking in an answer, I'm going to take Brent Burns. You know, they have to put some defensemen as X-Factor cards. Brent Burns is one of those, like, dope defensemen in the league that everyone loves. So we're going to go with uh, Brent Burns on this one. Kind of a sneaky pick, but I think it's a cool pick. Next, we have the Blackhawks. Now, last year, it was Seth Jones. Taking a look at the uh, points, did, uh, yeah, Connor Bedard with the most points on the team. Uh, next was Philip uh, Kurashev, and then Nick Felino. Not a bad season from Nick Felino, man. I like him a lot. Uh, Bruins just picked up Tyler Johnson. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be Bedard, bro. I think it's going to be my boy. Yeah, I think it's going to be Bedard. That's going to be us. Fucking sick X Factor card, sophomore year for the kid. Really hope he has a good year. I love watching this guy play. He's a beast. Lets his fucking nuts hang all over the ice. Nasty highlight plays. You know, like what you're telling me, Kurashev and Felino are gonna get an X Factor card over Bedard. Don't think so. Locking in my uh, guess with Bedard. Ooh, next we have the Avalanche. Now, last year it was Kale McCarr, one of the best defenseman cards in the game. You know, we're talking about another stacked roster here. McKinnon got it a couple years ago. I don't think Rantanen has ever gotten an X-Factor. Wow, oh my God, 140 points from McKinnon, bro. He's literally one of my favorite players in the league. Just like as I'm looking at the stats... For different teams, I'm like realizing how insane 140 points is. Like we just looked at looked at the Blackhawks, the most points that they had on their team was Bedard with 61, and McKinnon fucking had more than double. Like that's fucking crazy, bro. Crazy. Um, for this team, you know, I feel like Nishkushkin would have been like kind of a cool sleeper pick just because he really heated up in the playoffs, but then he got in trouble for like doing coke or some shit. Um, I'm going to go lock in my guess here with Rantanen. McKinnon's the obvious choice, but like he got an X Factor card a few years ago. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to lock in my guess with Rantanen. I think it would be a sick X Factor card, 104 points, literally unreal. That's going to be fucking sick. All right, next we got the Columbus Blue Jackets. R.I.P. Johnny Gaudreau, man. <sighs> that is so fucked up. R.I.P. What a legend. Played at BC. Just really fucked up, man. I don't even really want to talk like talk about it too much because it's just so sad. But let's take a look at their roster. They're a pretty shitty team from, uh, yeah. All right, let's take a look here. Um... Honestly, Boone Jenner would not be a bad choice just because he um, made the All-Star game. But look at this. Zach Wierenski, defenseman with 57 points, 11 goals, 46 assists. Wow, man. You know, they're like I said, they're going to have to sneak in some defensemen. I'm locking in my pick with Zach Wierenski. 
Dallas Stars, another awesome team with a ton of stacked talent, man. This one's going to be hard. Last year, it was Jason Robertson. Joe Pavelski, I'm pretty sure he retired. Matt Duchesne would be cool. Rupe Hintz or whatever his name is. Wyatt Johnston. Oh, Heiskanen. Heiskanen. I think it's going to be Heiskanen just because he's such a beast defenseman. But, like, this team has so many choices, dude. I either think, I honestly think Hints would be like kind of a cool little sleeper pick. 30 goals, 35 assists. But, and then Wyatt Johnston, too, bro. Like, really fucking good. Um, Jamie Ben was 60. I'm going to lock in my pick with Heisken, and though I think he's going to be kind of like that Makar. Like, you know, they have so much talent, but like, the, since he's a defenseman and he's so nasty, they're going to give him the X Factor card. So I'm going with Heisken in on this one. Next, we have the Red Wings. Now, this is another very cool team. Uh, Dylan Larkin got it last year. I think this year it's going to be Debrinket. Wow, Lucas Raymond cooked with 72 points. What the fuck? That's crazy, dude. Holy shit. Um, yeah, you know, Lucas Raymond, I guess he had a really good season. He was also minus 12 on the year. Um, Debrinket's just like kind of one of those really fun players to watch. He's so small. Um, and he, he had a great year. He had a really good year. He made the all-star game. Rasmuthin down here. No, no, no. But uh, I think it's going to be Debrinket over Lucas Raymond. I just don't think Raymond has like enough hype. Uh, plus, he was minus 12 on the year. But wow, 72 points. Yeah, he only had like five more points than Debrinket. I think it's going to be Debrinket. That's going to be a very cool X-Factor card. Next, we have the Oilers. Now, last year, it was McDavid. Now, he's like the obvious choice, you know, best player in the fucking league over here. But let's take a look at their roster because they had a few uh, standout guys. You know, obviously, Dreisaitl right behind him at 106. But Evan Bouchard would not be a, a bad pick. Honestly, Zach Hyman also would be like kind of one of those sleeper picks. Not sleeper picks. Like, everyone know he had an amazing year with 54 fucking Genos. But like, you know... Like, it's, it's like Leon Dreisaitl and McDavid are the obvious choices. So, like, I could see Zach Hyman just because of the hype that he got last season. I could see him getting the X-Factor card. Do I think he's going to get it over Dreisaitl? Dreisaitl would be such a cool X-Factor card. I'm going to go with Dreisaitl on this one. Next, we have the Florida Panthers, one of my favorite teams in the league. Matthew Kachuk got the card last year. His X-Factor card was kind of trash. I really, really hope Barkov gets the uh, uh, the X Factor card this year. Holy crap, Sam Reinhart with 94 fucking points. That's actually crazy. I would not be surprised if Reinhart gets it, but Barkov is like the obvious choice just because he's like, you know, he's the captain, he's the first line center, plus 33 for his plus minus, you know, great player. Wow, I cannot believe Reinhardt had 94 points. Um, it almost makes me want to say Reinhardt over Barkov. Yeah, I'm going to say Reinhardt over Barkov. I'm going to say Reinhardt over Barkov. Barkov only had 23 Genos last year. Wow. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Reinhardt over Barkov. I would much rather Barkov get it, but I, I, I have a feeling Reinhardt's going to get it. We're going to be like, whoa. All right, Los Angeles Kings. Last year it was Drew Doughty. He was like one of the first 99s in the game. Let's take a look here. We got Kempe, Kevin Fiala, Kopitar. Okay, bro. Quinton Byfield would be a sick X Factor card, man. He's one of my favorite players in the league. He's like standing tall at fucking six foot four, six foot five, whatever the however tall he is. He's actually a beast. And he had a great season for a newer player in the league, dude. 55 points. Now, I do think like picking Quinton Byfield would be a little bit of a uh like a risky pick. You know, we got guys like Kevin Fiala and Kempe above him. But Quentin Byfield does have that hype and it would be a very cool pick. You know, not the top guys don't always get it. Like, you know, Pasta did not get it on the Bruins. Marshawn did not get it on the Bruins. It was McAvoy, defenseman kind of sleeper pick. Um, you know, it's not a bad choice to say Byfield, but if I'm being like honest and if i'm trying to be more realistic i'm gonna say nah i'm saying quinton byfield bro i just have a feeling i just have a feeling it's risky it's a risky pick i'm saying quinton byfield's the x factor card i feel like this one's gonna be wrong once it comes out we're gonna see um what it is but we're gonna see like how many i got right 
But um, yeah. All right, next we got the Minnesota Wild. So last year it was my boy Kaprizov. Let's take a look. All right, Kaprizov Boldy would not be a bad choice. Brock Faber. Mmm. Mm, man, Brock Faber's card last year, his next-gen card was crazy. Matthew Boldy would not be a bad pick. Erickson Eck would not be a bad pick. Um, I'm going to say, I'm just trying to like envision who I think is going to be on the X-Factor card. For some reason, I'm really thinking it's going to be uh, Brock Faber on that X-Factor card or Erickson Eck. I'm going to lock in my pick with Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck's going to get it. All right now we got the Canadians. The last year was Nick Suzuki. I really think it's gonna be Cole Caulfield, which would be so fucking sick, dude. Love Cole Caulfield. Um, Slavkovsky would not be a bad choice either, but I'm locking in my pick here with Cole Caulfield. The Nashville Predators. Now, last year it was Yossi. Bro, we got some new. We got Stamkos on the Predators now. We got Marcia so on the Predators now. Whew. I know it's their first season, so I can't really imagine like a brand new player getting an X Factor card without even like playing any games yet. But I mean, nah, Forsberg would be a really good choice too. Um, yeah, he had a great season actually. Forty eight goals, forty six assists. Um, I I really hope that it's Stamkos. I think that'd be very cool. But I'm gonna lock in my pick here with Philip Forsberg. I think he deserves it. You know what I mean? I think for uh, Forsberg deserves the X Factor card. Next, we got the New Jersey Devils. Now, last year was Jack Hughes. This year, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Jesper Bratt, Niku Heischer, Timu Meyer. Um, wow, Luke Hughes had a great year. Mine is twenty five though. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm gonna say Jesper Bratt is gonna get it. Yeah. Going with Jesper Bratt. All right. Yeah, for uh, for the Islanders, I'm going to say Barzell. You know, I think it's kind of the obvious choice. I mean, he only had 23 Genos. Brock Nelson would not be a bad choice either. Um, but it's just Barzell has that hype around him. So we're going to go with Barzell on this one. Ooh, the Rangers. Last year it was Panarin. Uh, they have so many good players. I really hope that it's Zabanajad. They have a lot of players that are like really in the same tier. I would not be surprised if they give it to like a defenseman like Fox. I really would not be surprised. Like I feel like typically if they have a stud defenseman and then a bunch of like, you know, non-obvious players, like, you know, obviously Panarin would be the choice, but he got it last year. I don't think Trocek's going to get it. I don't think Kreider's going to get it. Lafreniere, not a bad choice. I really hope it's Zibanejad. He's one of my favorite players in the league. Um, I'm going to go with Zibanejad on this one. But Fox is not a bad pick either. Honestly, I'm like leaning towards Fox. I'm going to lock in my pick at Fox. I'm locking in my pick at Fox. I hope it's Zibanejad, but in terms of like seeing how many I got right, I think it's Fox. All right, Ottawa Senators. Bunch of fucking scrubs on this team. Um, sorry if you're a Senators fan, but you probably agree. Uh, Brady Kachuk. Uh, Claude Giroux would be very cool. Very cool. Um... I'm going to have to go with Brady Kachuk on this one. His brother got a X-Factor card last year, 37 goals, 37 assists, captain of the team. We're going to go with Brady Kachuk. Next, we have the Flyers. Uh, last year, it was my boy Konechny, or however the fuck you say his name. Uh, yeah, he had... Oh, it's going to be Owen Tippett. It's going to be Owen Tippett, 100%. He was a beast last year. He had, like, so many sick Genos. 100% think it's going to be Owen Tippett. He just has that hype around him. Uh, yeah. Now we have the Pittsburgh Penguins. Last year, it was Crosby. Now, I feel like this is kind of a hard team to predict. You know, you got guys like, like obviously, you know, if it's not going to be Crosby, it's going to be Malkin. But then you also got guys like Eric Carlson, like a great defenseman that you could see. Uh, you know, I could see Chris Letang getting one. Um, I feel like it's going to be, uh, I feel like it's going to be a defenseman. I feel like it's going to be Carlson, but... I'm going to lock in my pick at Malkin. I really hope it's Malkin, one of my favorite players in the league. Next, we have the Sharks. Now, last year it was Tomas Hurdle. Um, he's not even on the team anymore. Let's take a look at their uh, at their roster and their stats. All right, Granlund had a great year. Eklund had a good year. Zetterlund. Duclair. I'm pretty sure he got traded, though. Um, or did he get traded to the Sharks? I don't know. 
He's like always moving around teams. I don't even know where the fuck he is. I know he was on the Lightning for a little bit. Um, I think it's going to be uh, Granlund. You know, 60 points. He had 15 more points than everyone else on the team. What does this guy even look like? Oh, this guy? All right, yeah. All right, yeah, it's going to be Granlund. Ooh, next we got the Kraken. Last year it was Vince Dunn. I feel like it's going to be Matty Berniers uh, this year. Oh, Bjorkstrand. Mmm. Yeah, okay. Eberly. Matty Berniers. Nah, Matty Berniers is down there. Only 37 points. I feel like he's just like kind of a hyped up name. And he's from Massachusetts. So like, you know, everyone in Massachusetts kind of meat rides him a little bit. Yeah, I think it's going to be Bjorkstrand. He made the all-star game. He had a good year. 20 goals, uh, 39 assists. But Jared McCann, good year for him. You know, I would not be surprised if he gets it. I just feel like Bjorkstrand has a little bit more hype than this guy. And I think that hype kind of contributes to getting X-Factor cards. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Bjorkstrand here. Next, we have the St. Louis Blues. Last year, it was Jordan Cairo. What the fuck? Justin Falk. How the hell did he get an X-Factor card? Um, all right, I don't know, but whatever. Jordan Cairo. Let's take a look here. St. Louis Blues. So Robert Thomas with the most points by far. Buchnevich, I would not be surprised if he gets one. He actually plays Ultimate Team himself. So I feel like they might be like, he might like request an X Factor card. Well, let's take a look at Robert Thomas. 26 goals, 60 assists. Good for him. Um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be Robert Thomas. I feel like Buchnevich has a little bit more hype than him. Um, yeah, we'll go with uh, we'll go with Robert Thomas here. The Tampa Bay Lightning, another stacked team with a lot of good players that could get it. Now Kucherov, hundred and forty four fucking points. Stamkos is gone. Okay, so Braden Point got it last year. I really think Kucherov is going to get it this year. I think it's going to be one of those like you know he didn't get it last year. The obvious choice is Kucherov, but at the same time, I would not be surprised if they do Hedman. Uh, for like just like a stud defenseman. He got a team of the season card last year, um, but I'm going to choose Kucherov. Next, we have the Maple Leafs, another team with a ton of potential guys. Last year, it was Mitch Marner. Very cool card. Uh, let's take a look. Matthews is with 107. Now, Matthews is the obvious choice, but I feel like it's going to be Nylander. I, I feel like it's going to be Nylander. He had another great season. He had a team of the season card. Uh, I feel like they're going to make it like not the obvious choice for this one. So we're going to go with Nylander over Matthews. Matthews will probably get some sort of MSP. Next, we got the Vancouver Canucks. Quinn Hughes, kind of the obvious choice there. Actually, no. There's, oh, no, we already did Utah Hockey Club. That was the, uh, for, I said Logan Cooley um, for Arizona Coyotes. All right, Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, JT Miller. Oh, Elias Pettersson. Yeah, so I think it's going to be Elias Pettersson just because, you know, he has that hype around him. He got a team of the season card. He uh, fucking, uh, I was going to say best plus minus, but no, he actually does not have the best plus minus. It's fucking um, JT Miller. I just can't imagine JT Miller Miller getting it over Pedersen, even though he has like fucking 14 more points, but I think it's going to be Pedersen. Vegas Golden Knights, love this team. Last year it was Jack Eichel. Let's take a look. Oh, Marcia so got traded. He had the most points last year, bro, and he didn't even get that many cards last year. William Carlson, Mark Stone. Um, wow, they have a lot of like players that are good. Like Stevenson is good, Barbashev is good. Well, I didn't realize how good William Carlson was. Wow. Plus 15 on the year, 30 goals, 30 assists. Wow. Um Eichel got it last year. I would not be surprised if they do a defenseman for this team just because it's like a bunch of kind of, not not mid players, but a bunch of players that are like all kind of in the same range. I I want to say Stone because he's the captain. Um, I just can't imagine Carlson getting one over Stone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Mark Stone on this one. Washington Capitals. All right. Last year it was Ovechkin. Let's take a look at the stats here. Dylan Strom. Wow. 27 goals, 40 assists. Okay, I think they're going to do a defenseman one. Ooh, Tom Wilson would not be a bad choice. He made the all-star game. Uh, TJ Oshie wouldn't be a bad choice, and he only had 25 points. I, I do think it's going to be a defenseman, John Carlson, for this one. Um, 
it, it just feels right for the Capitals. You know, I haven't said, I've only said a few defensemen. There's going to be more than just a few defensemen, probably like five total. Yeah. Um, out of all these players, you know, I don't think Strom's getting one. I think it's either going to be Tom Wilson or John Carlson. And if I had to choose, I'm going to choose John Carlson. And the final team, the Winnipeg Jets. Now, last year it was Josh Morrissey. I think it's going to be Kyle Connor. Um, let's take a look here. Oh, Mark Shifley wouldn't be a bad choice either. Um, I'm going to go with Kyle Connor. He had 34 Genos, nine more Genos than Shifley. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Kyle Connor on this one. And those are my picks for the X Factor cards of NHL 25. Now, when the game comes out, I'm going to be doing a massive live stream, like a 12 hour long live stream all night on the first day, just to see how good I can get my team after like one night of grinding. So make sure you subscribe to my Twitch. Link's going to be in the description. During that live stream, we're going to go over the X Factor cards. We're going to go over like all the fucking cards, bro. We're going to go deep in the database, pick out like the best X Factor cards, but we're also going to see how many I got right. So stay tuned for that. Once again, it's your boy, Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm only 15 subscribers away from 1,000, so make sure you fucking smash that subscribe button for the kid, and I will see you guys in NHL 25. Peace.